Hey everybody, people have been asking us what it's like for us to run workshops or meetings completely remotely. Well, instead of telling you, we decided to show you. We're gonna give you a peek inside one of our internal workshops, one of our internal problem solving meetings that we're doing completely remotely. So you can just see exactly how we do this at AJ and Smart. What you're about to see is a digital remote version of LDJ. LDJ is called Lightning Decision Jam. We've done a ton of videos on it. It's like a one hour problem solving workshop that you can really use for everything. This is a completely digital version of that. Tim Hofer, our head of product at AJ and Smart, he's gonna facilitate the workshop. So you're gonna see him facilitating. He's the main facilitator and he's gonna bring you people through step by steps. I'm gonna hand you over to the team so you can see exactly how that looks. And I'll see you on the other side of this video. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm a Product Design Director at uh, Agent Smart Consulting. Um, I will be facilitating this remote retro session. Hi, I'm Ryan and I'm on the Agent Smart Digital Experiences team and I take care of customer and community support. Hi, my name is Calm. I'm a videographer at Agent Smart and I'm here for the purpose of uh, recording this remote workshop. Hi, I'm Britta. I'm a product designer and I'm working in the Sprint Consulting to Agent Smart. Hey, uh, my name is Steve. I work on the consultancy team at AJ and Smart, uh, and I'm looking forward to taking part in this remote retro. So let's start with the sailboat exercise, and um, I, I'm going to um, set the timer to six minutes uh, for coming up with positives things that worked well for you today and this week. Um, don't worry about negatives just yet. We'll come to that um, later. For now, just think about everything that worked really, really well. Uh, maybe some team members you want to give a little shout out um, and uh, write as many as you can in six minutes and please no discussions. So let me just set the timer, six minutes and we start off and um, <clears throat> while the team is collecting their positives um, just as a quick um, explanation of the purpose of this exercise so we really like starting starting off workshops with um, yeah like just just looking at, at positives and, and setting a really nice stage for the rest of the work because I mean usually things can get quite um, intense and detailed and um, you know like thinking about challenges is also quite quite exhausting sometimes so we just really like um, starting off with um, everything that that went well well and uh, we will be presenting these back to the group uh, once the timer is over and I'm also going to start contrib contributing my own Okay, I'm just going to stop the timer now. Happy to go first. Mine's this uh, pile in the top left of the, uh, the paper here. So the top things that work for me are it forces innovation because we have, can't do things in our usual ways. Uh, there was no commute, so I had time to do a different walk this morning. I go next. Mm -hmm. So I got 35 minutes more of sleep because I didn't have commute in the public transport, uh, which saved me of uh, being getting angry that, I, that my train is late or something. Uh, I could perform a bit better on tasks really required quite focus time and I could do some laundry while working. Um, <clears throat> so for me, I was able to start work a, um, a lot earlier, um, unlike Britta. I um, start work early. So I started at like <laughs> 10 past seven this morning already, um, which was quite nice for me. Um, I was able to get um, grocery shopping shortly after that, as soon as the shops opened, which was really nice. I, I, was, I had to work from the office today, so it was cool having a sort of focused working environment. 
um, with fewer distractions and made progress in some more tasks than I would maybe normally have on a, on a Thursday. Um, so I had a look at a new uh, product Britta is currently working on, um, which is shaping up quite nicely. Okay, so these are the positives. Um, thank you very much for sharing. Now we are moving on to things that did not work so well. Um, and again, I will give you six minutes. And just like last time, try to collect as many negatives or obstacles as possible. And then we will also take turns presenting them back to the group. Okay. okay. So if everybody's ready, then I'll start the timer now. So what's happening now is that um, the entire team, just as they collected positives, is now looking at everything that didn't work well um, and yeah, this is uh, this is usually where things get a bit more a bit more granular and detailed, um, and it's also the, also the base and the foundation for a lot of the exercises that will follow, where we will then figure out like what are the biggest problems for us to solve. So there are a couple of dots here. Um, I would like to ask you to just copy a, a dot and then use uh, three dots in total and vote on the, the challenges or problems that you think are most urgent to fix now. And I will set the timer to three minutes should be enough. Three. Yeah. Yeah. So well, we get three dots each time, yeah? Yeah, but just copy. Yeah. I mean, I, I trust all of you. I mean, I'm sure that you will. I mean, <laughs> go over. So uh, maybe just for the for the purpose of this uh, uh, this retro, um, should we should we just focus on the top four? Mm -hmm. um, so we have. <clears throat> so I'm just going to copy these over here, uh, and this is now where we are creating our how might we? Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to move these down here. So we have um, the first one being. Lots of video calls where text and audio would suffice. Um, tech is not 100% reliable. Uh, reacted to urgent requests by compromising my uh, agenda for today and Slack notifications stressed me out because we don't have the digital versus personal communication hierarchy anymore. Okay, so I think we can turn these into how might we quite easily without, without necessarily workshopping this as a group. Okay, so just for the purpose of this, uh, um, to show how this exercise works remotely, then we will focus on this one here that got three votes. So lots of video calls where text and audio would suffice. And uh, does anyone um, have any suggestions how we, how we could phrase that as a how might we? So I, I, I mean, I think if we if we look at this, the the problem is that we are using a very um, like we're using a solution that is quite co complicated and and powerful for something that is. I mean, we're um, 
how, how could how we might, embrace this? How might we ensure that all our remote communications are appropriate? Mm-hmm. Perhaps another I, mean, one. I think yeah. maybe we can just leave out remote. I think like it should be yeah. like a general communication issue, right? How might we ensure that our communications are appropriate? Okay, I uh, I like Tim, I like Tim's I like that yeah. one that Tim's shared. But I think it's a nice uh, how might we anyway because it's uh, it fits to it it fits to these two here I think. Yeah. Uh, so I think for yeah for now that's fine. Okay, cool. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so now we have reframed um, some of the problems as a challenge. Mm -hmm. So usually, um, usually in a proper retro, of course, we would have a bigger uh, variety of challenges to work on. But for now, just to show you how it's done, we'll just do it with uh, this. How might we? How might we ensure that? communications are appropriate for the purpose and respectful of each other's time mm -hmm. so everybody happy with this one yeah yeah mm -hmm. great cool then um, I'm just going to move this over here again and now it would be great if uh, for six minutes everybody could capture as many um, potential solutions for this challenge as possible. So you see these uh, red um, sticky notes here. Um, don't don't worry about describing it, you know, like in, in, in great detail. Just the big picture idea is fine. Um, and as usual, we do this uh, in silence and together alone. So I'm just going to set the timer to six minutes now mm -hmm. and then we start ideating solutions. Take your time to look through all of the ideas. Everybody now has five minutes so that we have a chance to look through all of the ideas. Um, as usual, you can vote for your own ideas if you want to um, have people um, pay attention to it or and you can vote on uh, really good ideas um, several times. So you don't, um, yeah, you can just uh, place all your stickers on one idea if there's one that is really, really good. I'm just going to start the timer off now and please no discussions. So we will leave these here for later because they're all all great ideas. So let's let's just very quickly go over these. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, the top voted one is define urgency status with team so you know when to resort to what medium of communication. Mm -hmm. The next one is give everyone access to each other's calendar and allow people to define no comms and focus times. Next one is set a specific time in the day for team huddles. Next one is message someone before calling. And the last one is default to asynchronous decision making, allowing for better thought through this. That's thought through, I guess, right? Thought through mm -hmm. decision making. Um, this will cut comms volume. Okay, great. So let's start with the top one. We have here the effort impact scale. Um, what does everybody think? Like how, like how much effort is this, and how much impact will it have on the challenge? Uh, sorry, before you start, I'll, I'm just going to copy over the challenge again so that we have it right here. Probably middle middle in, middle effort because um, 
t- it's going to take a lot of time and effort just to define what urgent means because that's such a subjective thing. And also, I don't think the impact will be that great either because we're just dealing with one piece of a thing, and urgent things don't happen very often. Yeah, so um, we have done the effort impact scale and um, based on these four quadrants, we have identified the highest impact solutions that uh, would take the lowest effort to implement. So we have three really interesting experiments to run. Um, and in, uh, in a workshop, we would also map out like specific steps that um, the responsible person for each of these, these experience, experiments should take um, to complete them. Um, sometimes it's not necessary, sometimes it helps if it's a bit more complex. Um, these things here that are outside of the, uh, the yellow zone um, are things we are kind of like parking for now. I mean, there might, there might be great ideas, but I mean, in this case here, um, the impact, the, the effort is really low, it's easy to do, but the impact might just not be high enough to, to try this. And in this case here, the effort is quite high and the impact is low, so this is kind of like the exclusion criteria, like criterion uh, we have here. So, uh, yeah, great. We have cool. three potential solutions for our how might we. Yeah, so we, um, we are taking the um, the experiments with uh, the lowest effort and highest impact um, and yeah then we uh, execute on them so what we usually do in, in a workshop as well is um, uh, basically have everyone um, do like a little user test flow exercise where we like define the specific steps that need to happen to complete the action and then um, the the group votes again and the person that gets the uh, highest voted uh, action steps would also be turned into the responsible individual to execute on these things or if there's a volunteer to do it uh, i mean usually the person who had the idea is happy to take uh, take over the execution um, but it can also be delegated so um, from from a very broad challenge we distilled three very specific things we can uh, run as experiments and see if it fixes the problem. Great. And Absolutely. we have done it all remotely. Super easy. Yeah. Hey, Jonathan back again. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, leave us a comment down below, leave us a like, hit subscribe. I know we're very needy, but we're trying to grow this channel. We've got a ton more videos, videos every single week. Also, don't forget to check us out on LinkedIn, AJ and Smart on LinkedIn. Loads more videos over there, even more than on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Peace.